Brad, that's, again, you were there, we could argue before, really, because you were seeing things even before the physical war began in, in, in cyberspace. Talk to me about where we are today, what you're seeing, what you think perhaps the winter months bring as well, and, and how you're helping Ukraine or continue to help Ukraine prepare and defend. The thing that I find most important but also sobering is that on the one hand, I think the Russian military has clearly failed in 2022 to use weapons to defeat troops. So instead, they are employing a strategy of trying to use weapons against the civilian population of Ukraine. And they're doing that with kinetic weapons. They're tr doing it every day to try to destroy the electrical infrastructure. It's as if they're hoping to freeze out 40 million people and force them to flee. We see it with kinetic weapons. We see it with cyber attacks. We see the cyber attacks, at least in October, spread beyond the borders of Ukraine to six targets in Poland. Yeah, I do think that the, the defensive technologies have held in, you know, at the battlefield. They've held in cyberspace. That's in part because we and, and lots of others have done so much. We've provided as a company $423 million of technology aid. But I think we just have to be very concerned about the coming months, what it will mean if the Russians continue to try to, say, freeze the population, force the population to flee, use the flight of people to try to create more unrest in, say, neighboring countries, and use their cyber influence operations to undermine public support, which I think is the clear Russian aim at this point, whether you're talking about Poland, Germany, the United States, or elsewhere. So this war is far from over. And the thing that I think we should all worry about the most is this is the opposite of what the world said it wanted for the future in 1949. What they said it, when they came together for the Fourth Geneva Convention is military force should fight military force and protect civilians. And now we have a war that's the opposite. It is the military against civilians. Mm -hmm.